Hey there guys, this is basically three and three with the continuation of the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix Let's Play. Last time we left off, uh, we were at the Olympus area, and now we're going onward towards the Great Space, Space Stitches World. I, I yeah, that that world. Um, so off camera, by the way, I and Marshmallow did some grinding, and by me, I mean Marshmallow did most of the work because she would not let me play the damn game. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to call you out on that. But, uh, yeah, I did some grinding, and, uh, I want to show you guys something real quickly. Of uh, the RNG that I got when I was, uh, like, uh, melding some commands. I managed to get, I, originally I was supposed to, like, meld Firaga with Firaga in order to get Fir, uh, sorry, Firada, I think? Firdara, something like that. But I managed to somehow get Raging Storm. Not only that, but I also got once more as well, so... Yeah. <laughs> I just got lucky with that one. Uh, I also found out that I actually have choices of multiple decks to make, so, like, this is my separate deck. I guess just for the final battle, in case I'm, like, very, very unprepared. I think this is a good uh, selection, because, like, Raging Storm, from what I've seen, is a beast when it comes to, like, killing enemies, so, like, okay, there's that. I'm not sure, I haven't really tested about Ice Barrage or Deep Freeze. By the way, I got those two attacks from playing the Command Board game. Which, I think, like, if you want to, like, not level up, and just want to, like, increase your, uh, increase your commands, this is probably the best way to do so, because not only are you playing Fortune Street, which is pretty much, like, a good, like, a really fun, like, Monopoly, like, game, but, uh, you don't have to worry about leveling up a lot, of course, uh, although on this, uh... I think Mello actually went overboard with the leveling up. Like, so the thing is, like, I wanted to like l have a way for m myself to like level up my uh, command deck, but not level up my player. And from what I've seen, it's actually impossible to do that, which is weird because I could have sworn like there was a way for like, I think in Kingdom Hearts 2 there was supposedly a way for you to like level up. Uh, be able to like continue the game w while never ever being able to level up your EXP. I guess Birth by Sleep doesn't have that, so yeah, I guess um, there's that. Uh, so yeah, it's impossible to like not grind because like no matter what, you're just gonna continue playing uh, onward. But anyways, uh, enough talk about that. Let's finally get into Deep Space, Stitch's World, and possibly the. Final chapter. It feels like either Terra or Ventus is. I forgot which one exactly, but I think Terra specifically. I think that's kind of like the final chapter for uh, Deep Space. I feel so. This might take place more in the beginning. So far, we've kind of seen like at the end stages of the game, maybe in the middle as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Where are we in story story wise in this game? Intruder alert. Oh, hey there. Is there any world they haven't found? Nope. They'll pretty much find nearly every world, no matter what they are, isn't it? Every Disney world will be infected by the shadows and the unversed. Which, now that I think about it, it's probably not a bad thing if it invades Hannah Montana. Because, fuck Hannah Montana. That's a shitty shitty TV show. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, I'm also in the middle of, like, um, I guess leveling up my, uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot, there was actually the ability to, uh, rename your, uh, uh, finishing attack, finishing style command, so I thought it would just be fun to just do the same thing and, like, have, rename my surprise attack as fuckboy. I don't know, just, I don't know, I just felt like doing that. Just for fun. So I, I kinda like that when games give you the creativity to like just come up with the most stupidest shit. I remember like when I was playing like Twilight Princess just for like the lulls. Oh wow, I that's sick girl. Who the hell says the lulls anymore? But yeah, just to be funny, I remembered I named Epona my butt. So every time like it's some it, like there's like a line, someone will accidentally say my butt instead of Epona. So it's like, oh hey there Link, I cleaned my butt for you instead of Clean the horse. Like, I know that's very immature, but like, you know, it's it's one of those moments where like you just can't help but like laugh at it. Yeah. 
Magnera, really good for, like, grinding out, I guess, but, like, I don't think it's gonna be very useful in terms of boss battles, so I might put my such to not do that a whole lot. Ow, fuck. Is that poison? I don't think I'm poisoned. Regardless, I'm not poisoned anymore. So that's good. <laughs> Alright, that seems simple enough for the first wave of enemies to deal with. Oh hey, it's this thingamabobber. Is this the one that stitch, uh... This looks bit. like the Wayfinders, but how did it get here? Oh! <laughs> Tell me, where did you get that? Well, huh? Come out, you little trog! <laughs> Wait! You there? Huh? Has Experiment 626 passed through this area? I don't understand. Experiment what? Don't be dense. Dr. Jumbo Jukiba's genetic abomination. 626. Small, blue, vicious. Isn't your huh? dad voice actor the same as, like, Pete's? He didn't look vicious. Just a lot more serious rather ah, than goofy. So you have seen him. Yes. He's in the ventilation system. Or it could be Steam Bloom, too, actually. Last, right now I think about he got it. away again. I guess I'm not arrested for intruding. Am I now? Hold it right there. Why don't I know you? What section are you from? Um, I'm. You want to tell the truth? Trying to or... stow away, are we? <laughs> Is Gantu gonna be a boss battle? Because I don't think we fought against Gantu yet, have we? We fought against Doctor Jumba, and the second battle was with Ventus. I think it was like an experiment or something. Yeah, we just came in from the access point. Oh, the internet's fucking up close. again, huh? Oh, excuse me, you gigantic piece what of shit. What is the meaning of this? Captain Gantu, did I not order you to apprehend the fugitives immediately? Yes, and I will have them in custody soon. They'd be locked up already if those wretched monsters were just... I mean, if I hadn't uncovered this potential stowaway. I wasn't trying to sneak on board. My name is Aqua. And those monsters? I followed them here. Please, I can handle this threat. Just give me a chance. Let me show you. The weapon I carry is the only one that can stop them. Our weapons are of no use against them? Is this true? Well, we haven't explored all our options. Nor do we have time to. We are fortunate you are here, Aqua. Your assistance would be most welcome. Oh, fuck, now I'm fighting the against the bad guys. Weapon. I mean, what the bad guys. honestly believe what this stowaway says. I think you'll find Come on, who would who would want to like doubt a face with like Jumbo that? And six two six remain at large, and these monsters are obstructing attempts to. She's like a mature Lucina. Or actually, now I think I about it, holy shit, she looks kind of like a Lucina. As to why you Just cut off the hair, failed to carry increase out the duties, boobs. Captain. You basically got Lucina right Will there. You help us? Just in disguise. Of course, defeating them. Now, why does every job? single anime character have to look it's alike? It's what I do like? best, ma'am. When it comes then to, like, cartoons, like, I feel the characters are a lot more diverse. Granted, I have not seen, like, every single anime character. But, like, the most Please I've seen in terms of anime, there's a lot of characters that kind of have, like, the same... Not kind of, like, I definitely have, like, the same features as, like, other characters. Like, the other... Uh, the various different colors, hairs. Wait, am I gonna get a D-Link with Gantu? Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. We will monitor the location of the monsters and keep you apprised. Thank you for your help, Aqua. Of course. Okie dokie. Um, Experiment 626 was carrying a wayfinder. I'd note that shape anywhere. Are Terra and Ven here too? So the wayfinder was still patched up, so this has to be the beginning of the area then if that's the case which makes uh changing different areas very very confusing if that's the case <sighs> anyways on to fighting or at least getting these treasures i got an ether ether whatever how, how you pronounced it um i need a map so i don't know exactly where to go i think this is backwards is it no that's forwards okay but before we do that there's like a treasure chest behind us so let's do that 
Unless that's also progress as well. What the hell is a balloon layer do? Okay. So yeah, this is progress. Uh, to the ship corridor. Uh, left and right. Uh, well, left seems like a dead end, so I'm guessing this is not the right option. Okay. I thought there might have been like... Oh, hello. Like some sort of... Uh, uh, what do I call it? Different uh, pathways that we can find, but like I guess... This game's just being way too linear, so... Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot, um... If I get able to demonstrate this... I also found a way to, uh... Well, I guess Marshmallow... I have to give credit to Marshmallow for doing that. Which, I kinda like... Uh, I really wanna, like, discover most of my things for myself, but, like... I, I don't know, like... Do you guys like it when I, like... Grind off-camera and feel like... The game's like... Because I wanna play this game with a challenge. So that I feel like I have the most fun, like, with it. Because if everything's too easy, and it's like, oh, what's the point of just fighting the game, or playing the game? That's, like, my mentality when it I guess, like, when it comes to, like, Kaka Slash games. Like, I'm used to, like, Kaka Slash games where they're, like, really tough to fight. So, like, that's my, uh, ideal, I feel. Is that a Kaka Slash game really has no point if it's not that difficult. Granted, so, like, I do think, like... Easier hack and slash games have a place for like beginner players who just honestly want to be the living shit out of everything. So like, that's mostly subjectively what I feel. Uh, am I gonna make it? Okay, I made it. Uh, holy shit, I'm going up a lot of things. I probably have to change things uh, later on. Uh, but yeah, that's why I feel like I want to like level up my uh, my commands, but not my uh, level because like. My level, they increase my HP, defense, all that, and the enemies don't change regardless of what level you are, so it's like, you're kind of like bullying them in a sense. Because with this, like, okay, see here, like, I have an HP boost. That means, um, basically my HP is going to be more higher, so if I feel like I need a little bit more of an HP boost, then I'll be able to select that individually, rather than being forced to do that, because I feel like you should have a choice when it comes to, like, the upgrades you have. It's kind of weird considering how, like, this game came out after Kingdom Hearts 2, right? So I don't understand why they would have to remove the no experience bonus. Because I did remember vividly, like, when I was replaying Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, I was able to, like, have the option to not use EXP mode. Maybe you had to do that by beating the game first? So that might be the case, but, like, for veteran Kingdom Hearts fans, I feel like there should be an option to do, to, uh have that in the beginning of the, uh, beginning of the playthrough. Otherwise, like, it feels like you're catering more to, like, newcomers rather than, like, veteran players. And I feel like the option to, like, help both cases out, part, both parties out, would be beneficial than to catering to just one demographic. That's how I feel, at least. Uh, this, I think this is progress? I don't know, though. Uh, actually, what am I fighting these guys for? I don't think it's really mandatory to do so, so it's probably not in my best interest to do so. Ooh, uh, okay, okay. Actually, I think it's a good idea to, like, demonstrate my ability now. Notice how, like, when I'm blocking successfully or parrying, I actually heal. That's the, uh, element I was talking about when it comes to, like, the, uh, skill that I feel will be most beneficial for me when it comes to, like, encouraging me to block more and play defensively rather than go all out and attack. So, that's something that's an interesting thing that I managed to gain. So, yay. I think actually a marshmallow model of that and just gave it to me as well. Eh. Alright. Oh, are we doing this shit again? I don't like this. This, I feel, is kind of like a downgrade. Like, I didn't like it in Terra Store. It okay. For a second there, I thought the game froze. That was very scared. scary. Alright, defend against with square, attack with X and triangle. Okay. Oh my god, the way this thing controls is horrible. Alright. Uh. I'm not sure if I'm damaging any of these guys or not. Uh, oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, yeah, the camera controls horrible in this one. Alright, that's... That works, I guess. What? 
the ability to, uh... Fuck, okay. I guess just triangle attack would be working fine, too. Yeah, this is something I don't necessarily like. Whenever, like, Kingdom Hearts feels the need to, like, shoehorn minigames, I feel like it needs to be, like, fun in order to do that. Like, with the command board, that's a very fun minigame to, like, play through. Which, honestly, could kind of be its own video game. Not full price, mind you, but, like, it's... It's cool. Yes, it's, like, Fortune Street, essentially, but... It's fun, at least, so... That's the type of minigame I'm willing to accept. Anything when it comes to, like, Rechain's Honey, uh, world... I forgot what's Winnie the Pooh's world. That, I don't accept, because most of them were just boring and unappealing. This one is also the same thing as well. The same thing goes for, I guess, the volleyball game during, uh, Disney World's Land. Um... Yeah, when it comes to, like, these types of minigames, I feel like they should at least have some sort of place in, or be fun, in general be fun, so that I feel it's warranted to do it. If it's something just for the shake of, like, oh, it's different from the usual hack and slash engine, then you're not doing your game correctly. I remember there's like, this one world in Kingdom Hearts 2 where I just completely, oh, hey, I have an air slide now. Where it's just completely, like... Thank God it was optional. If it was mandatory, then it will be like, Oh, fuck this game. Uh, I, wouldn't hate, I, I wouldn't hate Kingdom Hearts 2, but it's like a very huge zit in that, like, perfect... Uh... Sh face shape, I guess. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I have an air sla uh, slide. Which means, I guess, I can't block in the air right now unless I go stationary. Hmm. But yeah, there was, like, this mini game in Kingdom Hearts 2 where it's basically a rhythm game under the sea. It was horrible just because of like the song selection was just very very like awful to listen to and I was like oh, okay I can't do this. This is like nothing like the original movie. Granted the, the soundtrack for the original Little Mermaid movie wasn't even that spectacular was in my opinion. Around. There was like some exceptions like Kiss the Girl was like a nice smooth jazz type of music but I think Under the Sea was horrible just to how like Annoying it sounds. Um, what other songs were there? I want more is like, uh, it's your stereotypical Disney song. Like, it, I don't mind it too much, but at the same time, it's like cliched as all hell. I think that's really the only song I could list. Oh, I remember this is one Ursula song that I love, though. Um, I forgot what's called. Yo, poor unfortunate souls. Like, those are, that's really good. Like, it, it's a very thrilling villain song that I enjoyed listening to, but most of, but uh, other than that, I didn't like Little Mermaid as much. Um, Story-wise, it did its job, I guess, though. I don't think it's that spectacular in terms of a, a Disney movie, but I didn't think it was as horrible as, like, Frozen or anything. Um, where I go again? Was I supposed to go there, or was I supposed to back, I think I was supposed to go somewhere else, and that was, like, an optional area. They didn't really distinguish whether or not that was optional or not, though, so... Well, I guess, now that I got that, I have a slide dash, right? Uh... Yay. Oh, yeah. Usually my main priority when it comes to, like, grinding out these things was to get... Uh, once more and second chance, because I feel like those are, like, the best, uh... The best, uh... What's it called? Abilities that you can get in this game. Because it's essentially like a last chance before you die. Like, you'll be like, even though if you're a combo to death, because I feel like being combo to death eternally, that's very a that's a very cheap way to like lose to a battle. So with second chance and once more, you again at least have a chance so that you don't, you're at least in like one HP before you die. So I like that ability, definitely. I really need to block more often, but at the same time, I, don't, I think I have like enough HP to like, Actually, no, hold on. Yeah, because of uh, my new HP ability, I think, like, Kiraga is kind of, like, invalid, but at the same time, I think... Oh, where the fuck am I going now? I think it was mandatory. I don't, I don't know anymore. But, uh, I just, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Um, where was I going? What was I talking about again? Uh, Kiraga. I think, like, in boss battles, if the battle gets really, really rough, I might be able to do that. I might be able to, um... Like the enemies. Like, Where the fuck am I going? Do I go back here again? The control room? Is that it? I just 
and now I like the enemies in the spaceship, and that's it. I can't be it, can it? Okay, I'm getting lost. Cause like, I didn't think there was like another area I was supposed to go to. Was there? And that's a dead end, isn't it? I can't get there. Yeah, I can't. I didn't see any other areas I could go to, so I must have missed something then. Let me see. <laughs> this is essentially like the new tumble roll for Legend of Zelda. Like with uh, Breath of the Wild removing the tumble roll feature, which I honestly kind of miss. Like it was just funny doing that because, like I feel like it was like a staple Zelda thing. Like even like st uh, like even though with the game like, uh, wait, am I supposed to go in here? No, that's not it. Okay, with a game like uh, Skyward Sword, where even though there's a stamina bar. They're still, they still have the ability to Tom roll, so like that's fun to do. I think I'm supposed to go in through here, but if I had to do that mini game again, like, uh, fuck that. I think I just go through there or something, right? Oh, never mind. So I, I just need to beat the enemies and then. Okay, where the fuck do I go then? Cause that's not it. Is there another pathway? I can't go through there. Do I go through here? This is back to where I was, though, wasn't it? Okay, I'm stumped. What the fuck? Is there a different entrance way here? If I'm not supposed to go through there, and that's the only option, then... And I'm not allowed to do that, then where the hell do I, do I go, then? I thought that this would be like some sort of teleporter thing, but like it doesn't seem like. Do I have to defeat the enemies first before I? That might be the case. Let me try doing that. Come on, fuckboy, let's do this. I don't know why I call it a fuckboy. Honestly, like it was just more for for Danny's sake. The fact that this is an E-rated game and it just has like the F bomb placed in there. E10 specifically, but I, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, it may have a little bit more violence, maybe some blood, some language, but overall I still feel like E10 is still kid-friendly enough for me to play. Like, it's basically the equivalent of a PG-13 rating, so... Okay, yeah, I think I was supposed to, like, defeat the enemies beforehand. And then activate the, uh, transporter, I guess. Alright, so that fixes our problem. And that, I think we should take a quick break. Thank you, uh, bleh. We'll be right back with the next episode. I was gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. This is basically just signing out, but... This is not the end of the LP, uh, LP yet. Anyways. Uh, we'll continue on with the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep.